Uh, hi everybody. Better? Is that today? Uh, so I'm Adrian. I uh, am actually a software engineer. So whatever is written there is my second passion. I used to love software. I, I used to love programming. I would do this for hours and tens of hours. I uh, went abroad. So I just came after 10 years of being outside of uh, uh, Romania. And I've learned a lot of things. I've met a lot of people. I've done a lot of projects. I was in uh, a Fortune 500 company. I worked for a company who was doing software for a bank on Wall Street. So bigger and bigger projects each uh, company. But I was very dissatisfied with the job there. So the vertical and the horizontal relationships were terrible, which I think you know, or maybe experience around here. <coughs> So I'm talking about abuses from colleagues to colleagues, management downwards or upwards, a very big mess. I decided to go into uh, psychology and study all this and bring it back to IT, into IT, uh, IT world. So I'm doing, I'm doing coaching now, I'm doing uh, private coaching and I'm doing company coaching. Um, I would like to ask you, why do you think people come to me? I mean, most of my clients are from the IT world. What do you think the major number one problem is? Problem with their boss. With? Their boss. And no? Boss? Boss. Okay. Ah, with the boss. Yeah, but, okay. Somebody else? Miscommunication. Sorry? Miscommunication. Miscommunication, okay. Stress. Stress. Conflict. Conflict. Okay, that's, that's, that's actually all good, but uh, I'll tell you later the main, main, main reason of this. What we're talk gonna talk today about is uh, <coughs> the anatomy of uh, empathic communication. Who knows what empathy means? Okay, I'm not gonna test you now, but <laughs> how, how of you? That's, that's, that's impressive, actually. I, uh, one second, please. I would like you to think about um, how many times, actually, you have a conversation, you go home, and then you realize, you realize, oh God, I really fucked this over. <laughs> you know, you're like, man, I shouldn't have said that. So how many times did this happen to you? How many people? Okay, okay. <laughs> Almost everybody. Uh, how many people realize this while they're fucking it up? <laughs> okay, so a little less people, so now we're getting into emotional awareness, social awareness, so it, it gets complicated, you know. How many people bombard the conversation before they even started? One person, okay. <laughs> we're going to talk about this, how to destroy a conversation before it even starts, okay? That's the main subject. Um, What's a conflict? <laughs> the red part is supposed to appear later. So a conflict, <laughs> a conflict is actually a discussion. So it's pretty neutral. You know, you're trying to find something, negotiation stuff. You're trying to bargain for something, and that's very fine. But the conflict also brings the emotional part, the negative emotional part. So, so that means uh, stress, arrogance, uh, distraction, and all that stuff. <coughs> So how do we, getting back to the subject, so we're gonna have a conversation, but before the conversation, how can we uh, sabotage it? Sorry? Okay, but uh, yeah, can you give me some examples? Like, what do we do to destroy the conversation before it even starts, you know? Before, before even saying hello to a person? I just start to imagine scenarios. Sorry? You start to imagine all the scenarios in your head. Okay, okay, that, that's good. What was it? Scroll on Facebook. And? How is that then? <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, so you, uh, before the... Person and you scroll on Facebook. But that's, that's during the conversation. I'm saying blow it up before the conversation, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good, yeah. Starting with a closed mindset. Like you won't get along with that person. That's great, but that's also starting the conversation yeah. before, you know? You don't have to say anything. But the body language is great, you know? Or the mindset... Uh, are emotions, yeah? Okay, are emotions contagious, you know? Is, that's a question. Are emotions contagious? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, okay, so if you agree that if you go to a depressed person, you know, you're gonna get very depressed very soon. Okay, so what you were saying, you know, with a closed mindset, you actually show this. So people who are um, close-minded and uh, conservatives and Nazis and all this stuff, they actually show it on their faces. You know, it's like uh, bringing all the fear or the judgmental stuff before they see a black guy or uh, whatever uh, they're hating in their own mind. If, if you're hungry, it doesn't help as well. Yeah, yeah, that's actually <laughs> complex, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when we're judging character, you know, body language, it's important to also leave like an open door, like maybe he's not the evil guy, you know, like maybe, maybe let's try to talk first, you know. Uh, all right, so let's talk about <clears throat> this triangle conversation before it even starts, you know. It's a great way to go into a uh, conversation being stressed, you know. Because then you can really, really not focus on the person, you know? So whether you do this at, at, at the office, you know, when you have a communication with your colleagues or your uh, employees, or if you do it at home with your children, you know? Being stressed, thinking about work when you're in the family, uh, thinking about family when you're at work, it really works in miracles. Uh, about stress, uh, there's a girl who's gonna talk about stress, but I also want to mention stress. What do you know about stress, actually? What is stress? Anything, like a characteristic, or definition, or a sentence, anything? Pressure. Pressure, okay. <coughs> do you live it, guys? Do you have stress, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, one person has stress. So who has stress, actually? Because, you know, okay. Okay, a lot of people, a lot of people. <laughs> you need to know about stress. If you have it, you need to know what the hell it is. And it works like that. It destroys your emotional state. It makes you really angry, it makes you really agitated. It destroys your uh, cognitive uh, thinking. You're, you cannot be creative, you get paranoia, you get anxiety, and you go into depression. It destroys the body, it affects your immunitary system, doesn't work at all or very bad if you're in stress, which means you get a lot more diseases than usual, which means <coughs> the company has to pay a lot more sick leave for you. So that's, that's also, it hurts you as an employee, but it also hurts the company. So there's a, in the paper, there's a link there, and it shows that per year, companies are spending 300 billion on stress-related issues. And that's a pretty big number. 300 billion. Worldwide? Sorry? Worldwide or? I think it's worldwide, yeah. You, uh, it's on uh, Business Insider, that's what I understood. Um, Okay. When you <laughs> when you're talking to a person, even before you're talking to a person, it's very good if you think into the future or into the past. You know, so anything but the present. It's really great if you're going to a conversation, thinking what are you going to do the next step, uh, how you're going to talk to the clients, what's your next project, and it's really great also if you think about the past. You know, what has this man done to me? How will uh, how many times he has failed for me? How can I hurt him this time? So, <laughs> so yeah, great, uh, great uh, conversation starters. <coughs> Always stay on what's on your mind, but but you have to do it really hard, like you mean it, you know, like. You are always right. It's like, a, you know, like you're an expert on everything, and you really have to make everybody else know it. You know, so in Romanian that would be vehement. I don't know what's in uh, English, but express your opinions very, very strong, strongly, and don't leave any room for anybody else. Opinion. Sorry. Opinion in English. A really strong opinion. Yes. <laughs> uh, how many people do you know who are very strongly opinionated? So we, you know, who knows people? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. Actually, let me let, let me ask you for all of these. You know, so how many of you know people who are really stressed even before they come into the conversation? Okay, okay, okay. That's a lot. Uh, then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the computer is stressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how many people are not focused on the present and they, uh, they bring blame into discussion like really quickly, like you never do this or you never hear to me, you never talk to me, you never answer to me, okay, there you go. 
And uh, how does this happen in, in families? Like, have you ever heard this maybe from your wife or your mom, you know? You never do what I'm telling you. So, <laughs> there's, there's a whole, there's a huge part of psychology which, treat, which treats all of this stuff, okay? So they're all manageable. You can fix all of what I'm saying. But you need, you need to, uh, I'll tell you what you need later. <laughs> okay, uh, positive attitude. So I go around telling people, you know, I do the practical psychology, and they say, "Wow, well, that's nothing, you know, it's like uh, positive stuff." I'm positive, you know. I don't need to be positive, or you know, self help. Nobody needs self help, you know. I know everything. So that's that's the kind of people that I meet in my life. How do you feel about psychology? You know, do you think it can help you? Yes. Okay, okay. So you're much better than, <laughs> than normal people, I think. Um, okay, about this positive attitude. Uh, I've kind of noticed that we have this uh, weird, not only here, but also, also outside of the country, a weird feeling that when people are looking very angry, very stressed, it means that they are doing their jobs. You know, so if you go into a company, you can see the boss is always like angry, and well, you're not as angry as I am. How is it in your company, you know? Do people like, mm -hmm, go like this around, ah, oh, I have so many sh things to do? They look busy. They look busy? <laughs> yeah, they look busy, but they're doing it so wrong. You have, okay, you have to come to any of my courses on uh, <laughs> or anything. <laughs> um, I want to, so I was writing this, I was thinking about you as uh, the presentation went on. I was thinking, uh, what, what is a company? What's, what's your relationship with the company? You know, so the company gives you money. What are you exchanging for that? So. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> so. Somebody else, so what are you exchanging? All of us, what are you we don't have time. I mean, we, it's not something we have time, you know. We, yes, we have. We don't. Skills are, uh, are abstract. Something else. We actually do exchange something for this process. Work. Work. work is a process. I think time is a really good Like, you stay there. We don't, own, sometime. we don't own time. We don't exchange time. I so mean, it's you own your life. That's a certain period. Well, of time. that's a different thing. So, you are exchanging your life. So basically, so. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, life, but life is measured in time, so you basically put there a part of your time. It doesn't sound that dramatic, you know. If, if, I, if I say I'm stealing your time, you don't care, right? If I'm stealing your soul, you don't care because so is, you know, you don't feel you there. But if somebody's stealing your life, then it's like, why? Why would you do that? So let's make a, a little bit of mathematics. We're engineers, we like mathematics. <coughs> And they have 24 hours, we are uh, sleeping for 8 hours, we are working for now 9 hours, we are driving around, we are washing, we are repairing our teeth or our car or whatever. So that leaves us per day with a maximum of 2 hours, maybe 3, 4 hours. And if you have children, it's a zero. Right? <laughs> so where does life happen, you know? And as all my colleagues, ex-colleagues, future colleagues, where does your life happen? This is a, such a weird equation. So, so if, okay, or uh, maybe at work. So if you spend so much time, I mean, most of your time is at work. From now on, all your life, the much huge majority of your life will be work. Is that impressive to you guys? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so my question is. What can you do about this, you know? Because you cannot change it. You, I mean, you, some people will change it. Some people will become their own uh, entrepreneurs after my speech, so you can thank me later, guys. But many of you will be still employed. You're going to do the nine hours routine, whatever. So what can you do then? Enjoy. You can make it somehow to enjoy, you know? So how do you enjoy it? You bring people who have done this, who can teach us, you know? How do other people work together? Because there are companies who actually work really cooling teams, I mean, there are really fantastic people who actually get really, really uh, great along. And if I would ask you today, which one of you 
was happy at work today. Which one of you goes happily tomorrow at work? How many people would raise their hands? <laughs> That's so <open. laughs> many. I'm surprised. <laughs> but it doesn't wait, it doesn't connect well. So I mean, you have a huge amount of stress, but you are also enjoying it. It's like, uh, why? How does that connect? <laughs> yeah, masochistic. <laughs> <right? So, you laughs> Okay, so my point was this, which I'm a little bit like thrown off now. I mean, really? You're, you're stressed, but you like going to work? Okay, that, that doesn't make too much sense to me, but you know. If you do what you like, if you do yeah. what you like, yes. Stress is something that kills you. Oh. It destroys you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other funny thing, if you will not have nothing to work tomorrow, you still have to do something. You start to work something else. <laughs> So yeah, you, you, can do you can do your life, you can start your life. Yeah, but if your passion is to write code, then it's fine, right? It matters how you do it, it matters how you do it, you know? So you can write code, you can like to write code, but if you do it with a lot of people who you don't like, you know? And again, this is your life, this is your life, this is what you're gonna tell your children and your grandchildren, this is what I've done for the past 20 years. I went to an office, sat there for nine hours, and did code. Wow. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> Sorry? Yes. 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 Which is really dramatic. I mean, if, if you will ever understand this like really deeply, you'd really reconsider what you're doing with your life. I mean, for this much money in lay, not euros, I guess, maybe, you're exchanging nine hours of your life every day. If I would ask you how, how much would you how much should I pay you to give me one year of your life, I don't think you would sell it to me. Would you sell me one year of your life? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I have one year of oh my God. Oh. <laughs> but the rest of you, would you spend one year of your life for what money? You know? Or do an auction? Sorry? Or make an auction? Okay. Would you sell two years? Would you sell ten years? You know? Do you happen to want a kid kidney or something? <laughs> I just give you one. <laughs> okay, so we are saying about this. Um, we are exchanging life. We are being very stressed. So. What is the, do you think the company owes you a lot of respect for giving them your life? Do you think the company should really, really, really take care of you? Because again, you're selling your life here. So it's not like a product or, you know, it's just sitting there around. You're giving them your whole life. The only thing that you actually own in, in this life is your life. <laughs> so do you think the company is very, very responsible that you don't take stress from war and bring it to your children? Do you think the company is responsible so that you don't hurt your children because of the company? No, oh, you're responsible for your life. Okay, that's one of them. <coughs> so do you think all the processes that go into a company, you know, so taking this, uh, your point of view, so it means you're gonna fight everybody, you know, so you think the company is not responsible for making everything really very well streamlined, Extremely low pressure, extremely low stress. You can switch your job, so you don't have to do too much pressure, but you just have to switch your job. And we're not living in an ideal world. So. <laughs> I'm not saying we're living in an ideal world. I, I, but I was asking, so let's not change the subject. We're not talking about idea or whatever. Okay, I have to stop that. So if you think the company owes you something, then you better talk to them. So you better talk to them and say, look, I found out this information and I want to bring it into the company. I want new processes, I want to change something. Can we make this work? Can, can I feel that my life is not wasted with you? That's my... <laughs> okay, that's the end. Uh, I totally agree with you, but you know, it, it, it will happen something else, like tomorrow you don't have, you know, you have a free week just for you, right? What will you do? So you start writing some, some, something else, right? But you still work, like writing code maybe, or you can do, anyway, it, it's about, I mean, if you want to do something else, you can change your job. <laughs> <laughs>
What I'm saying is a holistic view on your life. You know, what is your life? So it's not about the writing code part. It's about how do you talk to people, how do you engage with them, how do you do everything that you wish for in your life. You know, how do you travel? With who do you travel? Maybe you want to invent something. You need people. What do you do about people, or you're just sitting programming? That's not life. That's work. Sorry. You asked about a company should uh, give us something. Yes, because the company is based on people, so people should be doing that by the human nature, not by a being a company. I don't get what you're saying. <laughs> they're, they're responsible for my well-being. Like yes, they are. I mean, that's what I think. Maybe you think as well, you know? They are because they are human beings after all. So this should be in our nature, not our, our company. I know what it should be. The, the question is, is your company doing a lot of effort for you? Are they teaching you a lot of stuff you need to know about stress? I don't know how much you know about stress. I don't know how much you know about emotions. And we'll do a panel on this. Okay, okay. we'll do Sorry. a panel on this and we'll discuss and I'll invite you. Okay, thanks. Okay? Yeah, yeah, that's, a good, that's a good subject, you know, <laughs> talk about what the company should, you know, do for employees. And we can put together you, we can get some, you know, companies, managers, and we'll see, you know, how, how this is going. But the subject is too big yeah. for <laughs> Next week we will have a session okay. with a psychologist here in Interactive for our people about stress management. Okay. So we're trying to do something. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you.